And even now, there are still unanswered questions as to what businesses are allowed to be open and what aren't. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss was asked today whether he supports Governor Evers' safer at home order. The governor has more information than he has shared with us. OK, so I have to accept the fact that he is looking at all the facts and he is trying to make the best decision that he can. Both Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald had criticized the way in which the governor rolled out the emergency order, calling for a 30-day shutdown of all non-essential businesses. I was just kind of confused, I think, by exactly why it was rolled out or why it was kind of dropped or announced at 930 and then the details followed. Was a 30-day order the right call? I think it's good that he gave a date because every business person that I know wants to understand when are they going to be allowed to generate revenue again? When are they going to be allowed to have employees come back? Voss pointed out that by law, the governor could choose to extend the emergency order to 60 days if necessary. Perhaps it could go longer, but I do not think that is likely to happen. I think, in fact, it's very unlikely to go beyond the 60 days. Fitzgerald also seemed to go against President Trump's latest update, that we should be looking at Easter as a timetable to restart the economy. This has got to be driven uh, not necessarily by the calendar, but more more so about uh, what we see on a daily basis when, it, when it we're talking about health care discussions. That, that's what should drive that decision. Kent Wainscott reporting. Wisconsin's top Republican in Washington, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson, is weighing in, saying, quote, when you really read through that order, it's far less onerous than I think people initially assumed. I'm supportive of what Governor Evers is doing.